So if you find uh, yourself uh, ask a friend request from Gaetano Caruana, you know what will happen. If you accept the request, then you receive a copy and paste message, promotional message, saying he wants to talk so that he can sell his business. What is the business? Some crap. Uh, he, he helps businesses to get more high quality referred leads through word of mouth by creating a strategy around their business. You know, it's a full of shit. Uh, Gautano Caruana. I say, because he says, oh, we are both part of CLA. I don't know. I say, what is CLA? Oh, sorry, James, that's my bad. I mistakenly thought you are part of CLA, a mastermind. What do you, are you talking about? Why do you make a mistake, CLA? I don't know it. Where is it? I say, stop using automated crap, maybe. Makes you look bad. And what he say? A genuine mistake. You know? So, I say, yes, and what did you make that mistake really? How come? Uh, you sent me a friend request. Not me. Just accepted. Yours just to your copy and paste message. Oh, is that a genuine mistake? And he says, he says that this week he joined a mastermind and he got a bunch of friend requests. I, I said and will repeat it again. It's a mistake. Hope you have a good day, mate. So, and what? Your point in sending me a friend request then if it's not about CLA. Mm -hmm. So you see, when uh, you receive friend requests, it's often many people, uh, they do that just to fish. And those we, who reply, so they send maybe hi in private message and add a friend request. Often it's when you are part of a Facebook group, so it could be any software related or make money online, you will get such friend request. And this conversation doesn't start like him. Him, if you have a message like this, it means, he, of course, he's doing uh, spam advertising, but he's bad at it. What you will find more sophisticated uh, people who will always start with trying to connect. Um, say, oh, we are both a member of this group. Uh, how this business is going for you? Or where do you live? Uh, things like this. And then they progress because they have learned, have been taught by others to act like in a courtship, you know, like a love relationship. You don't meet a person and ask, oh, will you marry me? You start with small talk, being interested in the person. So faking it, huh, of course, it's a seduction game. And progressively, you will, you will exchange and say what you do. And then the person will be interested in what you do because you have shown first that you are interested in what the person does. You know, so it's a, a fake, like a prostitute, more or less. Prostitute in some countries is not like how much. Okay, let's go. It's a, made to look as a seduction game, but very quick. It, it will not take months. It will take um, days, maybe a exchange of messages until finally there is a business transaction. So that's why for him it's just asking to talk and trying to sell you something at this moment is too early. So this is not a good a good one at this job. So now, look, uh, at what at what your point in sending me a friend request and if it's not about CLA, then ah, uh, I did yes as you engage with the post I did. Bye mate, I have zero intention to pick a fight, to pick a fight and waste time. Okay, you are not uh, wasting time. You are part of a video about spamming people. Do you have something quick to say to the viewers? Maybe he's already gone, you know? So if you want to do this, you know, it's um, like it's called closers. You can find the training on closers online. So it happens with phone call like he's doing. Phone can be a Zoom session or something like this. but also by messages. They teach you how to contact people on Instagram, on Facebook, and other things. First, always have a small talk, like uh, say good things about a post or something on Instagram. You say, oh, for instance, if, if the person posts a picture about a restaurant somewhere, and 
you can ask, oh, or, or a nice place, let's say a, a nice lake. And then you ask the person, oh, what is uh, this lake? Where is it? And it will reply, uh, oh, this lake is in um, this city. And so you, you can ask, uh, oh, and are you uh, from this city too? And then it will reply or other things. Start the conversation like this. Or if you want to be faster, qu quicker, but still focus your attention on the person. So for instance, you can, instead of saying, uh, well, I want to talk uh, just to see if, uh, what I can do for you. This is too generic. You, sh you should first do a small research on this person. And the message can be, uh, um, let's say, um, my marketing team and I uh, have done for, uh, something for you. We have prepared something for you. Do you have a minute uh, so I can show you? You know, something like this. Because the person will, will uh, cannot uh, reply uh, no because they want to, to see what you have prepared for them, especially for them. You know, people need to feel special and see that you are interested and maybe do something for them first. Not uh, doing a contract because they didn't contact you in the first place. So I think he will have uh, nothing to say anyway. But remember this person that you have seen in my video, Gaetano Caruana. Huh? Uh, it's no use. Quoi. As soon as you, you don't call, then you say, oh, bye, I, I don't want to speak a fight or waste time. I'm not picking a fight. I want an explanation. Why did you ask me to get into contact? So I did yes as you engage with the post I did. Of course, I don't know which post is talking about and what is my engagement. We will never know that. And, and surely it's a lie or something. Because, or maybe show if a guy you see these videos and tell me what is this post? How did I engage? Why do you uh, send me a friend request and have nothing to say to me? So what, what was your point except your spam message? That's it for this video. If you want to do that, do it better. Bye-bye.